What's up, everyone? Um, if you haven't checked already, um, be sure to go to my GitHub and uh, go to GitHub Jinxta PowerShell Playground and check out Jupyter Notebooks with PowerShell. Um, feel free to contribute, and if you build no cool notebooks, contribute here and uh, let's build a you know repository of notebooks to help each other out. Um, you know, and simplify our procedures and uh, you know, workflows. Um, that we do all the time. So real quick, I'm going to show you something I just realized um, and I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to do within a few minutes query uh, Azure Sentinel in Power BI. Yeah. All right. First, I'm not, I mean, you got to have the environment configured. I can't show you how to configure the environment. You already have to have the environment configured. Once you have the environment configured, let's go into Azure Sentinel. Let's go into our workspace. Let's go to my workspace here. Let's go to logs. And now, here we go. Let's look at security alerts. I got nothing. All right, there we go. Here we go, security alerts. So here we got security alerts, and uh, that's good. I'm curious why I didn't get any. That's, that's interesting. Interesting. All right, anyways. So we got some security alerts, right? And we want to take that and put it into Power BI. So you just go to export here and then just click export Power BI. You're gonna get a text file. That text file is already pre-coded with Power, uh, the Power Query. You can also use it in Excel. I haven't tested it, so don't, you know, I don't know, but Power BI. So let's open up Power BI. I'm gonna open up a brand new Power BI. I haven't even touched it, right? Now, if you do build some cool dashboards, please share it with me. I would love to look. I would love to see your use cases. If you want me to help you build a dashboard in Power BI, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you as well because everyone can kind of benefit from a beautiful Power BI dashboard, right? Um, let me show you what I am working on and see if you would be interested in that. So I think a security dashboard, I'm building it out. So here's the one I'm building out. I don't know. It's just something I kind of, I'm trying to do maybe secure score on the bottom. Maybe we're going to put failed login users. What do you think? Um, phishing simulator, security training. I don't know active users with no MFA, maybe machines. Like this is gonna give you a high level overview of, um, I don't know. Uh, this, I'm gonna, I might change it around, maybe average response time, but for the most part, you know, let me know other things you might wanna see. And uh, yeah, the goal is I'm gonna try to make this query um, the Graph API, Azure Sentinel, Defender AP, ATP, as well as Microsoft, uh, CASB, they all got kind of different API um, resource endpoints. So query it all here, connect out. So please, if you know Power BI, or if you know good queries, or if you have just good ideas, reach out, comment, and I will um, love to work with you. Okay, so. How do we put this in? So let me close this one. Let me go back to the other one that was empty. I still got 40 seconds, guys. Still got 40 seconds. So, well, I might I might hit it if uh, Power BI doesn't Power BI doesn't open up. Okay, so let's go to Edit Queries. Let's go then to we're adding a new source, a blank query. Once we add a blank query, we wanna go advanced editor. Once we go to advanced editor, we paste. You paste that query from Sentinel, and there you go. You don't believe me? There you go. We're in. Let's rename this. Uh, security event, oh, what, security alerts? 
uh, event was a security event or security alerts? Security alert, yeah. Security alerts, query, boom. And I would like to thank Alex Power for kind of showing me and uh, helping me with Power BI. But there, yeah, there we go. We are querying Azure Sentinel. And, and if you want, I'll show you how to build a special, um, you know, query or a special connector for the other components. So stay tuned, but um, yeah, let me know if this, if you liked it, if this was helpful. Uh, thank you everyone. Again, uh, Power BI, Azure Sentinel. Um, once you have that connection, you can literally just edit those queries, edit this query, right? And uh, modify it, but yeah, have fun.